had the opportunity, she would do it. She's open-minded. She finally went to some conventions and like, oh, this is what they're doing. Because I'm tired of taking 15 patterns to make an outfit. Like I said, that one pattern. That woman is a goddess. <laughs> Yeah, there, um, Dorothy, has a, I, I'm actually making a Dorothy cosplay right now, but there is a Dorothy cos, maybe if you, uh, made the, the skirt wider, it would be work. I used to pattern my Athena that I have today. I love that blouse. It's so easy and it's simple. You can make, yeah. I don't think you with it or anything else. So there are, there are shortcuts and there are ways you can still do this. Yeah, if you're on a dime, if you're the lottery, go shopping, I'm going to do that one day. <laughs> I bought mine, but I did make a petticoat for my friend who did Anita. Never again. Never again. It's better to buy them because you get the right shape, the cupcake shape. There are tutorials online. Um, there is a site, Lolita Sewing. It's a blog, and she actually did a petticoat tutorial. So you can use tool. If you have a ruffler or a serger, you're fine. Like me, I don't have that. Welcome to my health. <laughs> I can tell you some ghost stories. Any more questions? Yes. Do you prefer uh, pe petticoats or pantyhanks? Both. Both. Dep depends on the shape you're going for? Yeah, because, like I said, I, I like the undergarments. Especially when you're doing historical, you got to have the right undergarment. So, pantyhanks is fine. I mean, it, especially if it's comfortable. But yeah, it's cool. It's like, uh, you know, bloomers? Yeah. Oh, that's not Yeah, I, I, I haven't had my bloomers very long. I've, because I, I actually started uh, Lolita like last summer, and you know, that's one of the things that you do to help cool down. Yeah. Is to skip, skip bloomers. Like the country Lolita. I like country Lolita because you can wear, you know, the straw hats, baskets, gingham, um, curly hair. It's more lightweight. You don't have to see. You don't really have to wear a big petticoat, which it means the summer. That's the thing. It's the season. You don't want to be layered too much. You want to burn up. So lightweight clothing is good. Any more questions? Yes. You got any like favorite uh, accessories, like bags or parasols? Yes. Or things like that. I because I like lace parasols a lot. I love lace. I love the bonnets. I love them. Um, top hats. Top hats first. Bonnets. Um, the Alice bow. Man, they almost all the accessories, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, I love uh, Baby Star Side Bright bags. Love them. It's just the heart shaped ones. I do make bags, and I look at them like, that's my limit. <laughs> my limit. Yeah, I want one right now because I, uh, I made a, uh, well, a, a Valentine's Day outfit, which it, it's basically, it's just just this plain white blouse, and um, I, I made a skirt, which it, from heart fabric from Joanne's, and then I, I also got some cotton lace, and it has little hearts on it. Oh, and a good thing when we talk about fabric, um, prints. It's hard to find uh, fabric with the Japanese prints, like the Rocky Horses and everything. You have to really look, um, especially if you're doing sleeves. You can use um, a skirt with musical notes. That's good. You can find it at Joanne's. When it comes to floral flowers, they can be a little bit smaller, they can work. But like I said, if you're doing classic, you can use a floral print. Whatever, if you see a fabric and you have that vision, I say go for it. Yeah, they did Coco Chanel. She took a, a curtain, it's a curtain off, and gave it to put around the girl's neck and said, go, go, we stop. Yeah, there, there, there's actually this uh, stuff that I want to make for Easter. It's, a, it's an Easter um, fabric. It's uh, like sort of a lilac gingham. And it has little bunnies on it. That's cute. Aww. Yeah, little bunnies and carrots. <laughs> See, and, and the creativity too. I mean, it's not the fabric, it's the vision. Coco Chanel. <laughs> yeah, because uh, one, it's not exactly Lolita, but it goes along with the idea of cute prints. One of the things I really want to get off of Etsy is um, an original My Little Pony print fabric corset, full corset, and it's it's my original My Little Pony print. And I really want it. I want to see a Hello Kitty movie. I want to see Oh, that would be cute. Oh, man. It needs to happen. Why has that not happened already? Like, I how? Think it how? Is. how? I think it is. It's just, it depends on the fabric. It can't be overly big, Kitty. But it has to be. Like, I guess it's certain style. 
Yeah, I, I've had the idea of maybe making like a, a rectangle skirt and then just getting like one of those uh, Hello Kitty uh, iron-on thing and just put it yeah, on the dress. That's what she did yeah, kind of like how her. these little unicorns are on my that's skirt. Cute. Yeah, mm -hmm. just do applique. I mean, yeah. Lolita can be made into a lot of things. If you like the style and you like cosplaying, you can instantly make almost anything Lolita if you yeah. really think about it. Yeah, and, and, like, and it belongs to have the right, and like I said, accessories can count so people recognize what you're wearing, because one thing I like about, oh, and I forgot, uh, what do you call it, Sailor Lolita. You see the Sailor Lolita, oh, it's like a so Japanese so uniform, and they have the pleated skirt, they have the uh, striped socks, that is how you recognize the laptop. Please, God, please don't take the laptop, please, please. Is it? Yeah, I know it, guys. I'm gonna skip to the uh, quiz. You guys wanna do that? Or I'll try to breeze through the panel. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you guys for being sports. Well, we still have fun. We still have fun. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm just psycho princess. It's not your fault, though. Thank you. I apologize. I'm out of costume. So, anyway. <laughs> Although it took them a little while to realize this is fashion, not a costume. It is, yeah. and, um, it is a, and it can be a lifestyle too. Me, I'm a cosplayer, so I can't wear it every day. But I had one parent come to me at the panel, and I work at a school. And she told me, can she wear Lolita's at the casual? It's public school, the casual, I work at private, they have to wear uniforms. But on non uniform day, they said, these kids be wearing Parada and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, what you got on? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, casually it's perfect. It's a t-shirt, a nice skirt, and if you notice the, you see those petticoats on Hot Topic? That look, the 80s look is coming back with the sad bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that, 
which uh, body law and their petticoats are pretty sad, but you can probably get those um, if you're doing you like fairy cake. I, 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 I do love body line. It's just that their petticoats are kind of are not are not good. <laughs> I got, actually, I got, yeah, yeah my first dress um, was uh, their waffle. Yeah, it's in bully. Yeah. This was my second dress. <laughs> Historical patterns are, I, I kind of like them 